guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I got that I absolutely love. Look at this lippy. I think this is so cool. And I got oh, the most amazing stuff. mirror. OMG is this. It's, it's really awesome. Anyways, I'm going to tell you all about that. But before I do that, I want to share a couple of clips that I took when Jay and I went on a recent trip up to Old Orchard Beach, Maine. And I'm going to enclose that now because we went camping to Old Orchard Beach, Maine, and we took a day trip to Portland, Maine. Jay and I decided we were going to do this, like, sort of a fall getaway, right? This little, like, fall weekend getaway. And we're super excited. So we've been camping up here at Bailey's. I'm going to superimpose some of the photos that we've taken the first few days, but it's been like really nice. Yesterday, the beach, we went to this little beach. It was pretty well, not at all crowded. And it did fog in, but one thing that we've been doing is dreaming of our bikes, right, honey? So yeah, I can't wait to get them. They come in this week. It's supposed to be real nice at the beginning of the week, but I think we're supposed to get some rain off and on Thursday and Friday. Which will stink. But, oh well. So Jay's going to get us a um, parking pass so that we can go Cape Elizabeth. We're going to go explore the lighthouse. We've been here a number of times, but you know what? It's just gorgeous. So Jay's like saying, <laughs> you can't pay for one hour. you got to pay for two hours. So... And he goes, oh, cities have gotten greedy. Right, honey, is that what you said? Cities have gotten greedy. So we're at, is this Fort Williams? Yep. Fort Williams Park. In Port. In Portland, Maine. And there's a beautiful lighthouse we're gonna go to. So just got stopped by someone and said, oh, love your hat. She goes, you could be in a Maine, what did she say? It could be a cover on a Maine magazine or something. <laughs> I actually got my hat in Maine. <laughs> so one of the things that we really had so hoped that we would get when we went on this little weekend trip and it was just a quick weekend trip it wasn't like it was a big camping trip we just went up for the weekend and it, it's close to home so we could do it but one of the things that we really wanted to have was our e-bikes now i've mentioned e-bikes before um jay and i had committed to trying to get back into a fitness routine and we were actually avid bikers we loved to pedal bike we had mountain bikes we'd bike the trails up in acadia we just absolutely loved that whole thing anyways um various reasons jay has some hip issues i was having a hard time getting on the big mountain bike i needed something with a little bit of a lower step through for my comfort zone so we pursued e-bikes and we had narrowed it down to a brand for several reasons and for us, most importantly, was five-year warranty, local service. We're not handy. We needed local service. And we also felt really good when we went in the shop and we talked to the gentleman, the owner of the shop, of ultimately where we bought our bikes in Portsmouth. We absolutely felt comfortable. So we ordered our e-bikes. And we had so hoped they would come in. We're crossing our fingers. We had no idea when we ordered e-bikes how incredibly popular e-bikes were. We had no clue. So um, we were just looking at something to do that would be fun. See, I'm totally blessed because I am married to a man that I enjoy having and spending time with. I enjoy having him in my life. I enjoy spending time with him. We, we respect each other enough that we give it the space needed. He has his hobbies, I have mine. But we have a lot of togetherness and I'm so, so, and I know I'm so fortunate to have that in my life. And we we've, we just celebrated our anniversary and our Ebex was part of our anniversary gift to each other, part of our Christmas gift to each other, but it's a joint thing that we both enjoy. So we didn't get the e-bikes in time, but we did finally get them. So I'm going to enclose a photo. I had, I was a little really intimidated, Jay and I went to the beach and you know, we go to the beach a lot, right? Because we live near the beach. So, and we love to camp at the beach. So, um, 
anyways, we decided we we're going to go up and I was just going to practice because the e-bike's a lot heavier than a regular bike. It moves a little bit different and I was just really intimidated. So we went up to the beach and this is a couple of shots of us. Some lady came by, took this picture of Jay and I on our bikes and then we, we pedaled all over the place, we took a couple of stops and it was it didn't take me long to feel comfortable. Now, I'm not 100% there where I would say, yeah, I'm going to go into a ton of traffic. But, and there was traffic. We did have the Dodge cars and all that, but it was off season, so the traffic was not nearly as bad. But the point is that we've really committed to trying to get our health back and lose weight, you know, stay healthy, stuff like that. We have a family wedding coming up. The mid-October-ish and um, I'm the mother of the groom and I really want to feel good and look good when I dance with my son. It's going to be a special day, you know, even though my dad is not physically going to um, be there with us, he he's always with us and I would have loved it had he been able to join us, you know, but anyways. It's a special, going to be a special wedding, and I want to look as good as I can and feel as good as I can, and so does Jay. His son is flying out, my daughter-in-law Tamara is coming out, and they're, they're going to come out for that weekend. So it's going to be really an awesome, awesome wedding. And yeah, so we're hoping that the e-bikes gets us in that exercise mode <laughs> so we can do it and feel better. But anyways, I received, I'm going to show this mirror to you. This mirror is the nuts. Now, I know that I am not using this correctly because I don't have, I don't know if you can see this. This is a mirror up here, a mirror here, and a mirror here. I'm going to insert the photos of me when I took this out of the box. This was actually gifted to me complimentary from Good Jane's Skin Care. And they have a whole skincare line. This is by Octoly. And this is basically, um, this is Kiss My Lash and kiss my lash. Now, I don't have false lashes on, but I want to wear false lashes for the wedding. And I was like thinking, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do that, right? How am I gonna put false eyelashes on and see? And then I saw this. It was the coolest thing because when you look in, you can see your eye, and then if you look up, you can see underneath your eyelashes. And if you look down, you get to see your eye lid. So straight on and you look up, right? You get to see underneath here and then down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close the video that someone had done because I don't have the false lashes to show you. But this is the coolest thing, even when you're just applying. And I'm sure this is not what they intended. But even when you're just applying your own, your, your own, you know, your own eyeshadow and all that, it's so super easy. I love this mirror. This actually came with me camping. It is lightweight. This is very flexible. You can position it to your height if you're sitting down. But I'm telling you guys, this is the coolest thing. Like I'm looking down and I can see my entire eyelid. And if I was putting on a false eyelash, I would be able to see the line exactly. And then I'd look up and I could see how it looked that way. And if I look up, I'm seeing the underneath of my lash line. So this is Kiss, kiss My Lash. <laughs> Kiss My Lash. It retails for about $29. This is from Good Jane's Skincare. I'm going to link all the information below. This was actually um, part of the Octoly, right? And I had requested it and I was like, oh, I don't have false eyelashes. So I ordered false eyelashes. I just don't have them yet. But I'm going to film when I do this because I think personally, unless you are a pro, this... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like tickle pink because I'm amazed at how much of my upper lid you can see when I look down. And when I was applying my eyeshadow, I was looking down and I was able to blend my eyeshadow so much better. I absolutely love it. I just think it's amazing. So anyways, that is from Good Jane Skincare via the Octoline Network sent to me totally complimentary so I could take a look at it so I could share it with you in exchange for the review and even though I don't have the false eyelashes on I think this is awesome the other thing that I got is I got seven 
lippies and and this is i'm gonna i'm gonna open this up i'm gonna enclose this photo too because the color shows so much better but this is like a whole line of lip oils and right now i have number one on right and nothing else a little bit i like eyeliner i have a little bit of lip liner let me put my little mirror up here because that's how i was actually applying it earlier i have a little bit of um lip liner on but i love this this is the coolest the coolest thing so anyways this is larens i hope i'm saying that right and they've got a, you know, I mean, you can see they're, they've got a full line of skincare, but they put together this lip comfort oil set. It's high shimmer. It has a little, a burst of color. It is really cool. You can wear it alone. I have it totally alone. This is nothing on but lip liner, or you can wear it as a topper if you have your favorite color. But they, these colors are really pretty. So this one is sort of very clear. I don't know if you, you can even, I don't think it's even going to pick it up. And then I have the next one that is so, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And that particular one is number three, right? This is number three. They're all numbered. And number four, they're all pretty, pretty colors. This one is really pretty too. I thought this was nice. Number four, you can see they're they're not they're they look like they're dark, but oh my gosh, they're not. And number five, I was like, oh wow, I love these. Really pretty. Number five is a little bit more. Uh, pinky. I don't know if you can see that was a little bit more pinky. Of course, I'm layering because I'm just such a layer person anyway. So that's number five. And then I have, this is number six. Kind of more orangey looking in the, in the application. But when you put it on again, just a tinge of color. I love this. I just think this is so cool. Even number number seven and number eight. This is number seven. Yeah, this is number seven. When you get up to the darker ones, I mean, really beautiful, beautiful shades. Just a tinge of color, and it's number eight. I know I'm not doing I'm not doing this justice at all, but I just wanted to know these are. This was also sent to me from the Octoly Network in exchange for a review, and this is Clarence, and I this is high. This is what they're going to say about it. Available in high intensity shades. I think the shades are beautiful, and I am not a dark lippy girl, right? But because they're shimmers, and I am definitely a shimmer girl, I love wearing gloss. I love all of that. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of when I was a lot younger, especially, you know, when I was way, way younger. Sometimes I just wear lip gloss, you know, and I would love lip gloss. So anyways, are you nostalgic? It says where we are, and this is from the early 2000s when you're a little, you know, this is like from this goes back like 20 years ago they're saying when lips were all glittery and glossy like real glossy which i agree well good news they say introducing our new lip oil shimmer in sparkly shades with all of the good clarence skin care and benefits this is awesome think of your favorite high school lip glosses and the looks you got you're gonna get it so i think i just think this is <laughs> Isn't it cute? I love it. I love it. And they're all numbered so you know which number it is. I have had a blast, a blast with these. I've worn these. This one actually went on my bike ride. I had this on my bike ride. And um, I, I really like the idea that you could have a little bit of a, a, a gloss 
or a glimmer or glittery or whatever and a tiny bit of color but not like boom in my opinion so take a look at that and that's cool I really like these so I am super thankful that I had an opportunity to actually review these for you again this was gifted to me complimentary in exchange for review highly recommend these I think if you see them grab them you will love them they they don't feel sticky on and you know what they last I'm looking at myself in the mirror now when I look at this cool mirror Oh, gosh, it amazes me what I can see on my lids in this mirror. So one other thing I wanted to add before I end this is I know I talked about the Peter Thomas Roth, the Instant Firm Eye Fix. And I know you cannot get this. I have not been able to get this. But a couple of you have asked me that you've all seen a difference when I use it. I don't have it on now. This is going to be something I'm going to use for my son's wedding or when I'm going somewhere where I really want to have my no bags. I mean, I have bags, but they're not super, super bad. But um, I put this on my mother. I think I mentioned it. So I'm just going to show you a photo where one side of her face is done. Now, my mother's 94. She would kill me if she saw that I put this picture in, but I'm going to do it anyways. So don't tell on me. But this stuff worked amazing on her. So I'm just going to tell you, if you see it, grab it. It doesn't dry you out. It doesn't feel weird on your skin. It actually feels really good on your skin. And you can actually mix it if you really wanted to have a little concealer. Mix it up with your concealer and put it on. I, people have been doing that. So this stuff is really awesome. I think that's really all. I wanted to share some of our, our weekend away, talk a little bit about the e-bikes, and then, of course, some of the products that I have received. Now, the Peter Thomas Roth I, Roth I bought, I did not receive that at all. So this is a purchase of mine. And, um, yeah, money went well, well spent. If you have bags, if you have a special occasion, yeah. I think this would be great. Absolutely great. And this Mara Kiss My Lash. Whoever came up with this idea... I look at this and I'm going, wow, Monica, you did a really great job on your, your eyeshadow. I don't usually do a good job on my eyeshadow. I did a really great job on my eyeshadow. I'm like, I look at that and I go, holy mackerel. So I really like that. And then, of course, the all the lip choppers that I got from Clarins. I think those are, those are amazing. So I'm hoping in my next video to share a little bit more with you uh, about our bikes. And... Um, and I, I, I was even thinking I was going to probably do an e-bike review. But more importantly, for me, I, I have to burn the calories. I know what goes in has to come out. And so biking to me has been always a fun thing that I've really enjoyed. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, this spurs me on again. You know, we've all gone through some really rotten times. So it's time for things to get better. It really is. So thanks so much for watching. I know this might have been long, a little bit rambling, but I had a lot I wanted to share with you, especially when we went up to Bailey's, up to Old Orchard Beach, and did Portland. I love that whole area. And then, of course, our ride on the beach was super, super special. So you guys have a wonderful week. Take care. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.